I have literally spent years figuring out the ideal list of Valentine's Day gifts you can buy for your motorcycle. And this is it. What's up everybody, Chris here with the Riding Dad channel. I have developed the perfect list of Valentine's Day gifts for your bike. Whether you have a sport bike, a cruiser, a moped, I guarantee you there will be at least five things on this list of nine that you could use for a Valentine's Day gift for your motorcycle. So this Valentine's Day, save a little bit of cash, work a little bit of overtime, and go ahead and spend a little money on at least one of these things on this list, ranging from about $20 to a couple thousand dollars on your motorcycle. Your bike deserves it. You know she does. A battery tender. Uh, they have a various different brands and a couple different levels within each brand. I have the uh, Battery Tender Junior, which is more than enough for my motorcycle. If you don't know what a battery tender does, basically it will maintain your battery's level of full charge and or bring it up to full charge if it is uh, fairly well depleted, basically. Um, so this is uh, almost a necessity if you are somewhere where your winter is harsh because you are gonna need one of these to maintain your battery so your bike is all ready to go when the weather clears up and you can take it out for a spin. Do you like being seen? Are you a fan of not being hit? Do you like increased visibility in dark to no light conditions? Well then LED lights, they're gonna be next on the list for you. They can be had for fairly cheap depending on which one you get and they are super simple. Almost all of them are plug and play and even a monkey could put it on the bike. This applies to cruisers, sport bikes, cars, anything. LED lights are the way of the future and you heard it here first. There's a couple different forms of crash bars you can get for your motorcycle and that goes from sport bikes having little slider pegs to cruisers, big baggers, having full-on kind of mustache-shaped guards. On this bike, I'm gonna eventually get a bunking, which is basically just a long pole that fits right about here where forward controls would be. Crash bars will keep your ride as safe as possible. Uh, they are fairly cheap, a couple hundred dollars, very easy bolt-on kits, and most of them can be used as either passenger peg replacements, if you get them for the rear as well, and or like a highway peg kind of alternative. Uh, they are very good to keep your bike safe. Make sure your, uh, your pretty lady stays pretty for as long as possible. So if you live on earth, you're gonna have seasons and various different seasons depending on where you are, but seasons nonetheless. So it might be so cold part of the year and on the other hand it also might be so hot you can melt the paint off an armadillo and you know what when it's hot sometimes it rains afterwards and when it's raining and snowing and sweating and freezing and windy your bike doesn't like it so bring your bike inside get a garage space for it or some sort of storage unit or something to cover it up because when you're cold they're cold This next one's gonna be almost a twofer, okay? If you have a vehicle of any kind, this is something that's gonna be beneficial to you. A wax slash sealant slash ceramic wax slash coating slash whatever you wanna call it, some sort of protectant, just something that protects your bike and or your vehicle from the sun's harmful UV rays. And also keeps it nice and clean when it gets rainy and dirty and makes it nice and sparkly, which we all know is way more important than protecting the paint as long as the bike looks cool. This is what I use. I have found that this lasts a very long time. It is super easy to apply and it is cheap. And you could use this for cars, trucks, automobiles, motorcycles, bicycles, boats, I think. Maybe not boats, I'm not sure. Hell, you can even put it on your grandma if you want her to be nice and shiny.
Do you have a butt? Do you sit on that butt? If he answered yes to any of those questions, a new seat might be something you want to look into. Not only is it going to be beneficial for you, but your bike is going to look a whole lot hell of a nice better with it. It's scientifically proven you're going to gain a 13 degree extra lean angle just from adding a new seat because your bike is going to feel better about itself. A new seat can also help you take longer rides, which means you and your bike can spend a little bit more intimate time together and get to see some new sights. And that sounds like a hell of a lot of fun to me. All right, ignore my Christmas decorations in the background that I still have yet to finish putting away because they have absolutely nothing to do with number three. Before you, in my very hands, I possess a DinoJet PowerVision. This is the Harley's version of the, basically like the Power Commander, if you have a metric or a, uh, like a sport bike, obviously, you know, metric in that too. Um, basically, this is a fuel tuner. This is gonna allow a professional dyno tuner, I don't know if that's what you call them, uh, but a professional mechanic that does the dyno stuff, it's gonna allow them to fine tune stuff with your bike. It's gonna allow you to see and monitor things uh, that are going on with your bike, so it'll help your special lady friend communicate with you a little bit better and gain that language of love, that communication that the women love so much. Uh, and it's gonna help you get a little bit more power out of your bike. So it's a win-win. This is one of the single best things you can do for your bike. This is under $500. So if you have a newer Harley with the 114 configuration, you probably already have a high performance air filter uh, or air cleaner, whatever you want to call it. What you may not have is one that you like the look of, one that makes your bike look extra special and cool. So whether you have one or not, uh, air cleaner might be something to think about. And it's going to be something you have to think about if you have a cruiser bike and you get a new exhaust system. Whether you get slip-ons, it's uh, kind of up in the air. I've heard people say yes and no. You can kind of take that with a grain of salt. But if you do get a set of full headers and mufflers, uh, you're going to want to get a high-performance air cleaner. And you're also going to need what we mentioned earlier, a fuel tuner. But like I said in the earlier set, the fuel tuner is a standalone unit, and you can do that on its own. And it's independent of this stuff and it'll still probably help your bike out a little bit like that and give you some feedback that you're not normally getting. However, if you're gonna do a exhaust or an air cleaner, you're definitely gonna need to get a fuel tuner. That way your bike can figure out what kind of percentage air and fuel it needs to make it run better with the new performance parts you just installed on it. So air cleaner and exhaust is very cool. It's also one of the most expensive items on this list. So that's why I saved it for second to last. And in an ironic twist of fates, the last one is actually free. So let's go check it out. Give it a ride. Guys, I had a lot of fun making that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did like it, please like it. And like the actual video. I'll go ahead and hit me with a subscribe and turn those notifications on. That way you never miss a new video of mine that's coming out. Uh, lots of stuff to come, build series, almost weekly, at least I'm getting the parts for it. Just takes a long time to edit these videos. So buy a Valentine's Day gift for your bike. Don't let her feel left out. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Ride safe, have fun. Dad out.